Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carton. I am a photographer and digital artist, and I'm here to announce that uh, all of my tutorials, which are on my Gumroad account, uh, you can click the link in the uh, description below, but all the tutorials, these, these hours-long tutorials that I've created, they're all going to be 50% uh, off uh, for the rest of the month of November. So I'm really excited about this sale. A lot of people have asked me to make these tutorials, and I've made 25 of them so far. You can see just a bunch of uh, the little thumbnails here to the 25 that I've made so far, uh, but they're all 50% off right now. So just click the link in the description below and put in the uh, coupon code PSTUT50 and uh, that'll get you half off of all of them. Now, what I want to do for the rest of this, uh, to, uh, this video is I want to show you just a sample um, of my uh, tutorials. So I'm going to include a 10-minute uh, sample of uh, my premium tutorials uh, in this video so you can kind of get a, a taste of what you might expect in these premium tutorials. Uh, but watch the rest of this video. See what you can uh, from learn from this sample. And if you're interested in purchasing more, of course, you can go to my Gumroad account and uh, stock up on some some good training videos. Warm uh, color that's hitting right on her face. So you see this warm color that's hitting this, this side of her face. And so when I take the picture, I want to make sure that there is a nice warm light uh, that's really close to her face. And uh, that way when I composite it all in, it's gonna make it a lot easier. So what I did for that, here's our setup shot. This was an outtake anyway, and uh, you can see that I've got this light bulb right here. This is just a regular LED light bulb. It is casting a little bit of warm light onto the scene. You can see how warm the table is. You can see how warm her face is. Um, and so this is just a regular LED light that I uh, just fashioned right here above this fork. And all of this is going directly to her face. And when it does that in post, um, you can you can see the color in her face. Now all of this area over here with uh, the blue uh, stars and everything that was just all painted in Photoshop. So I just manually added these these blue highlights uh, to the left side of her body. Uh, but that was one project that I, I had done. Here's another one uh, where I am lifting up a really large uh, Bible here, and uh, the main light sources in this picture are the 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 sky up up here and in and above the trees and that's a nice blue light that's coming down uh, but the brightest light is this orange lantern right here and it is uh, lighting up uh, this side of my body it is all going directly to the edge of my clothes and my my arms and uh, my pants and everything and so this this part right here is very warm whereas this part right here um, is really more in shadow there's not really any light hitting that so this is the final picture. So my setup picture looked like this. I had um, um, nothing really too complicated. There was just a light right here that was off frame uh, with an orange gel on it. And uh, it is just blasting out nice orange light. And it is hitting um, the edge of my arms and uh, the edge of my clothes. And then on this side over here, I didn't have any light. Um, this is just a normal wall. Uh, so there's not really any light that's hitting this side of my body. Brush settings. So go to Windows and make sure your brush settings is open. Let's do scattering and let's change our scattering all the way to 1000%. And uh, I think that's going to be fine. And now when you start to draw it, it looks like this. And so you see how they're scattered out like that. And I think if you even go to your brush tip shape and you change your spacing out, yeah, that looks even better. Uh, and then we're going to go to our transfer. And let's also, um, uh, let's change the opacity uh, filter to 100%. And that's just going to make some of them bright and some of them dark. And let's do the flow jitter. And that looks even better. Okay, so what we can do is change our color to white. Or maybe not solid white, but like a really bright color here. And then we'll just change our brush size to like 100. And that looks pretty good like that. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to rotate it because if I rotate it like that, well, I guess I could do it like that. We need to rotate it just a little bit. I don't want it to go straight down. Um, I want it to go just slightly off to the side. So what we're going to do is uh, just zoom out. And um, I'm going to just paint some rain like this going down. 
I'm going to go right beside it and do it again. I'm going to go right beside it and do it again. I'm going to go right beside it. And do some over here as well. And some right here and some right here. Okay, so now we got rain. Uh, and now I'm going to do another uh, selection of it. So let's change it down to like uh, 60 pixels, I guess. Just a little bit smaller. But then I'm going to change my rotation just a little bit. So now, okay, so maybe not quite that much. But I want to make sure, you know, we we have a little bit. Let's make sure it's uh, below the dome image. So there's our dome, and let's put the uh, the moon right here. And let's make that moon much, much smaller, and let's put it somewhere right here in the sky. About right there. Oh, let's zoom in a little bit so we can see better. Okay, so somewhere right up here in the sky and uh, then we'll do a, a levels adjustment on top of it. Bring your lights down really far, kind of like that. And then what you want to do is just take a brush tool and uh, just zoom in so you can see it. Uh, you just want to uh, paint uh, white, or I'm sorry, paint black on the edge of the moon so it's going to reveal that, that brightest part of the moon, just like that. And so now we have a nice little... Um, a moon that is in shadow, you can actually go ahead and uh, make another layer on top of that moon and just kind of multiply um, a, a dark color on the back side of it as well, like that. And then make sure you erase the, uh, the left side. So we got this nice little um, ri uh, rim light here of the moon, and uh, I think that looks pretty good like that. Uh, so let's put all of those moon layers in one group, and uh, anytime you need to move it around, um, you know, you can move it to wherever it needs to go. So I'm going to put it about right there, and uh, I think that'll be appropriate. Uh, but guys, that's that's pretty much it. We could do some we could do some more um, uh, color grade if you want to. You know, it might be pretty cool to um, um, work on our blues in the background, so you could definitely make them a little bit more uh, cyan in color, or make them a little bit more green. Uh, so that could be a cool thing to do. Um, you could definitely work on some gradient maps and um, you know try try with different gradient maps and see what what kind of effects you can get. And uh, I really think that if you play around with it some a lot, you can get some really cool effects here. So if we did a blue to a dark blue, um, that looks pretty cool right there. But if we changed it from blue to like an orange or a red that looks that looks pretty interesting as well uh, so lots of different options you can do as far as color grading uh, to bring everything together I think that looks pretty good like that as well uh, so that that is an option that you can do um, uh, also, you can go down to your space background. So go all the way down to your space background, and you can make your space background a lot brighter like this. And so that's really, it looks a lot different when you do it like that, or if you make it a lot darker, uh, that doesn't look very good like that. But you can definitely play around with just the background uh, to really change uh, how this image looks. Uh, but uh, this is a, a cool and a quick way to make a flat earth. I would just, uh, I would recommend you spending a little bit more time on it and get these details a little bit better. Uh, but these are overall the, the, the basic steps you would do to make a flat earth. You want to get that disc, put the earth on top of it, make your dome, and then make your bottom part, and uh, then blend the sun and the moon together, and you get some really cool effects like this. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on this, this, this surreal artwork. And uh, we've only got a few more videos left, but when you're ready, let's go ahead and move into the next video in this series.